Welcome to the news this week, your ultimate destination for the latest updates on the world of alcoholic beverages and the hospitality sector. I am Shalini Kumar and I will be bringing you the most up-to-date information on policy and regulatory issues, national and international developments, as well as exciting new product launches. The news bulletin is powered by Spirits, the most trusted trade publication in the industry, ensuring that you get reliable and comprehensive coverage of all the latest developments in the world of alcoholic beverages and hospitality sector. Stay tuned for all the latest news and updates on this exciting and ever-changing industry. Here are the major headlines before the detailed news. Odisha allows sheds on beaches. Bail plea of the former deputy CM of Delhi dismissed. Goa CM requests foreign embassies to import Fanny. Korean Napoleon Brandy and 1965 Spirit of Victory Rum joins the Millionaire Club. High-end liquor gets an excise duty cut in Goa. HC permits duty-free shop at Chandigarh Airport. Welcome to our top story tonight. The new Odisha excise policy approves the opening of beach shacks in the state to boost tourism. However, the license for these shacks will only be granted to the Odisha Tourism Development Corporation OTDC and not to any private operator. The OTDC as the licensee will be responsible for ensuring compliance with all procedures. OTDC has invited applications for the operation of shacks on six major beaches of the state. The Excise Department of Punjab has announced that it has divided the bordering state into 171 excise groups with a total of 6,378 liquor vents. The move is expected to boost the state's revenues significantly. The department is hoping to make a total of 8,896 crore rupees from excise collections by the end of March in the current fiscal year. The bail plea of the former deputy CM of Delhi, Manish Sisodia, was dismissed by Delhi's Rao New Court. Manish Sisodia is alleged to be involved in a case related to irregularities in the now scrapped 2021-22 excise policy of Delhi. Breaking news out of Goa, where Chief Minister Pramod Savan is calling for foreign embassies to import the state's signature drink, Fanny. Savan has written letters to several embassies urging them to promote and distribute the drink overseas. Savan has also appealed to other states to classify Fanny as a country liquor in their respective state excise policies. Stay tuned for updates on this developing story. The Madras High Court has directed the Tamil Nadu State Marketing Corporation to disclose all information regarding the quantity and price of liquor it purchases from private breweries and distilleries under the Right to Information Act. Banwari Lal Purohit, the administrator of Chandigarh, has authorized a reduction in cow cells under Chandigarh's excise policy for 2023-24 fiscal, which is to be collected by the excise department and transferred to the municipal corporation. From 1st April, the revised cow cess rates will be in effect. Now, the cess of 10 rupees per bottle of 750 ml and 700 ml whiskey has been reduced to 2 rupees per bottle and 5 rupees per bottle of 650 ml beer has been reduced to 1 rupee per bottle. 
the Madhya Pradesh government has reduced the license fee reserve price of the liquor outlets by 14% in the state except for its districts of Agar Malwa, Ashoknagar, Dindori, Neemaj, Shehopur and Niwadi due to poor response to tenders for auction of liquor shops in the state. The remaining liquor shops of MP will be put to auction once again and bids quoted at less than 14% of the reserve price will be accepted. Goa has reduced the excise duty on high-end liquor which was a demand put forth by the tourism and liquor industry. The coastal state was losing out on revenue as premium liquor in Goa cost more than in some of the northern states of India. Punjab and Haryana High Court has granted permission to Liquor World Venture Private Limited to operate a duty-free shop at the Shaheed Bhagat Singh International Airport, Chandigarh till the next date of hearing which is 10th April. The Punjab government did not allow the company to operate the outlet after which they approached the High Court. The Excise Department of Jharkhand has planned to set up a dedicated lab at their directorate in Ranchi for testing liquor seized during raids to ascertain if they are spurious in nature or not. This step is being taken as the excise department of Jharkhand has no such lab of its own for testing seized liquor and has to rely mostly on other agencies, which is often time consuming and also poses problems to legally prosecuting culprits. 1965 Spirit of Victory Rum of Redico Khatan Limited joins the Millionaire Club becoming the company's seventh brand to achieve the million case mark. The premium rum brand has two variants, 1965 Spirit of Victory Premium XXX Rum and 1965 Spirit of Victory Lemon Dash. Redico Khatan launched 1965 Spirit of Victory Rum in 2017 for the canteen stores department as a tribute to the brave soldiers who were a part of the 1965 Indo-Pak War. Seeing an overwhelming response to the brand, it was introduced to the domestic market later. The company added Lemon Dash as a brand extension to the 1965 Spirit of Victory Rum in 2022, venturing into the flavored white rum category. Tilaknagar Industries Limited has announced that the sales of its popular brand Courier Napoleon Brandy have crossed the 1 million cases mark for the current financial year. Korean Napoleon Brandy has now become the second brand from the company's portfolio after Mansion House Brandy to enter the Millionaire Club. In its two largest markets, Kerala and Puducherry, the Korean Napoleon Brandy has witnessed more than 40% and 88% growth respectively. In the canteen stores department, CST, the brand has garnered a 15% market share in the highly competitive prestige brandy segment. Hedon is a premium shopping destination for all things alcohol in Kolkata, offering a one-of-a-kind experience for all your liquor needs. It offers a complete solution under one roof. Is spread over 7,500 square feet, the liquor store will have more than 9,000 bottles of the premium range on the display where the customer can pick and choose his preferred brands. The store has an Alcopedia corner where customers can know about the alcohol in detail in terms of where it is made, what is made of, along with tasting notes. A special tasting room has been set up to give customers access to tasting the sample before purchasing it. Canada's government is going to fix the inflation adjustment for excise tax 
on alcoholic beverages at 2% for a one year period effective from 1st April 2023. Canada's economy is going through 6.3% inflation. The government's budget statement announced the move on 29 March. Waterford Distillery has announced a new partnership with Nathaniel Coffee, an experimental French artist, to bring a fresh and bold perspective to its flagship single malt. The partnership is for its forthcoming flagship QV the Waterford QV Coffee. For liquor lovers, last week was bountiful as some high-end brands were launched across the globe. I bring some of them here for you. Redigo Khetan has unveiled Sangam World Malt Whiskey at the Beverage Trade Show Provin. Sangam World Malt Whiskey will be launched in the United Kingdom, the EU, the United States, Singapore, Australia and in travel retail this month. It is bottled at 43% ABV. Kentucky based Lux Road Distillers has announced the newest variant in the Rebel brand family Rebel 100 Straight Dry Whiskey. Rebel 100 Straight Dry Whiskey delivers a smooth spicy rye flavor via its 51% rye, 45% corn, and 4% malt mash bill. Tomatin Distillery has released a new limited edition 45-year-old single malt whiskey, which is bottled at 41.5% ABV and is available in 70 CL with an RRP of 7,500 pounds. The whiskey is available from 27th March through airports and global travel retail outlets with only 250 individually numbered bottles available worldwide. Let's check what made the news in the hospitality sector last week. Marriott International Inc. has announced the milestone of opening of its 1000th hotel in Asia Pacific, signaling its continued confidence in the long term growth potential of the region. The company entered the region nearly 50 years ago and has steadily increased its Asia Pacific footprint. The hospitality conglomerate anticipates adding 100 hotels in Asia Pacific in 2023, expanding its footprint in key Asia Pacific markets, including Australia, Indonesia, Japan, Thailand, Singapore, China, and India. Shalini Sharma has been appointed as Director of Sales and Marketing at Redison Blue Plaza Delhi Airport. She has experienced of over 20 years in the hospitality industry. Shalini has experience of working with Redison Blue Plaza Delhi Airport for almost three years. She began her career in 2003 as a senior sales associate at Intercontinental, the Grand New Delhi. Vishal Singh with eight years of experience in leading teams as a general manager, has been appointed as the new general manager of JW Marriott Chandigarh. He has extensive experience in the hospitality sector, which includes working with several leading hotel chains across different Indian cities. With this, I wrap this bulletin and will be back with you next week with fresh updates. For detailed news and the stories, subscribe to Spirits Magazine and do like and subscribe to the news this week. Thank you for watching news this week. Stay safe and drink responsibly.